Now that we know how the mediator works and how to route MIDI tracks into a multi timbre instrument like Contact, I'm just going to show you how to make a string chord progression sound a little bit more realistic and a little bit more interesting. Um, so this is the, the chord progression. Sounds, sounds a bit like that. I am going to start off by splitting these different pitches into different instruments. So let's select the string ensemble. We'll start with that. Control equal to get into the MIDI editor. And what we're going to do now is to copy the different pitch ranges here to the different instrument. So I'm going to start with the bottom one. And C to copy. Uh, go up to cellos. Make sure that the pencil is now on cello because this is where we want to paste it to. And then go back to your beginning, return, uh, V to paste. And there we go. Uh, when you're working with pitches or MIDI notes are on the same pitch in the same range, it, it's easy to work with just one track uh, unhidden at the time. Otherwise, it's easy to just paste in the wrong track or copy from the wrong track. So this is the mid-range, the mid-range pitch here. See the copy, go to violas, move the pencil, and return, paste, and there we go. And then lastly, move the pencil back string ensemble, hide the violas, and you select the top range of pitches here. There we go. Copy, violins, paste. Uh, so now we can see that we have viol violins, violas, and cellos. So jump back out to the editor and I'm gonna mute this one. Um, oops, control, not command. And then if we have a listen to this. Okay, that sounds okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move some ranges here to make it sound a little bit more realistic. I'm just gonna uh, select the cellos. So I'm gonna select all of the cello notes. There we go. And then move that down one octave. I'm going to go to the violins, uh, not the strings, the violins, and I'm going to select those, and I'm going to move them an octave up. If we come out of the MIDI editor, I can pan them slightly, so I'm going to pan this slightly to the left, and maybe the violas to the left a little bit, and then the cellos to the right. And then I'm going to add the string ensemble to this, so I'm going to use the real-time properties, and drop that an octave. So let's see how this compares with what we have from the beginning. I'm going to duplicate the string ensembles, so Alt Shift D to duplicate. And then I'm going to change the real time properties back up an octave and just solo this track. Go from the beginning. So that's what it sounded from in the beginning. So let's mute this track and just listen to what we've got now. That sounds much better and now you can of course um, change the individual melody lines and, and add reverbs and delays and so forth and so on. Okay.